He wanna fuck with her. Tell me to pull up with her. He can't get enough of her. Damn. What? He wanna fuck with her. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. My name is Tahana. If you are new, welcome. If you are welcome. I am back with another video, and today's video is a little different. Today's video is a cook with me. I will be making steak, mashed potatoes with broccoli and cheese. So we will be making that. I did go grocery shopping already. I already got all the stuff. My steak is currently unthawing. I did get a New York strip steak. So that is the steak that I will be cooking. My oven is on as well. So I'm currently gonna clean my steak, season it, and then prep it. Cut up my green peppers and onions, and then add that once I, you know, get it cooking a little bit. I am cooking these mashed potatoes. So it literally take probably like five minutes, if even that. So I'm gonna make that last. And then I'm making this cheesy rice and broccoli. I was looking for the one that had only broccoli and cheese, but they did not have it. So I did get this one. I never tried this, so this will be something different as well. And I feel like it's gonna go well with the meal. Y'all, okay. this is my first time cooking all this stuff, basically. I have cooked the sides before, but not this kind. So basically this is my first time. So you finna get right into this video. I hope y'all enjoy. I'm trying to give y'all a little different content, so. So y'all, once I clean my steak, I am going in with unseasoned meat tenderizer to get the steak tender. Basically, you know, falling off the bone. And y'all, when I say this definitely worked, I feel like the unseasoned is better. So if you do over season or, you know, like over tenderize it, you wouldn't really taste it. So I would recommend getting unseasoned meat tenderizer. A little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder seasoning salt i'm also going in with salt and pepper and i think i put something else but i don't really remember once i got my meat well seasoned i do have my oven heating up my oven do not go to 375 it's either 350 or 400 so i did decide to put it on 400 and i will be letting it cook for 30 minutes and then flipping it over and letting it cook for another 30 minutes i do not like pink meat I don't care if y'all in the comments saying it's not healthy to have it all the way done, whatever, whatever. I don't care. Me, personally, I like my meat well done. I don't want to see no blood. I don't want to see nothing pink, nothing raw, nothing half done, nothing of nothing, okay? Give me well done. Simple as that. And that's just that. So, when I'm done seasoning, I will be putting my steak into the oven, and then I will start on my green peppers and onions.
throw me up a blunt. I'm finna smoke half of it while I let my steak cook. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like my refrigerator is loud. And I feel like it only get loud when I'm in here recording. I don't know. It might be a mind thing. I really shouldn't even be smoking because I'm sipping wine. I don't want to fuck up my food. vegetables up too big i'm not using all those onions i'm only using the ones that's right here but i feel like i cut my vegetables up too big so i am about to size them down a little bit before i add them and i really should have cut them small like in small pieces like minced it but i was not thinking first time for everything So with the mashed potatoes, I will be adding two cups of water and then letting it boil. My steak did end up getting finished just in time, so I will be pulling my steak out and letting it cool off while I make the mashed potatoes. As I mentioned to y'all, the mashed potatoes are basically like minute potatoes, only take like five minutes, three to five minutes is even that. So once I got my water boiling, I will just be stirring it in, adding it in, and then taking it off the heat. So y'all, this is how my steak turned out. Everything is done. I am now making my plate. Um, The mashed potatoes, y'all, honestly, truthfully, I really don't know, but they were not bad. They were not nasty. But like the texture of them, the quality of them, I feel like I would have to probably try them again or do it again or, or add milk, something of that sort. And then I am adding the vegetables, y'all. This meal, I get this meal probably get 8 out of a 10. Altogether, 8 out of a 10. My favorite thing definitely was the steak. Also, we poured a glass of wine to complete the dinner.
So guys, this is the end of my cooking video. First of all, real quick, this was my first time cooking everything. Literally, my steak, y'all, my steak was definitely a 10 out of 10. Okay, the steak was a 10 out of 10. The mashed potatoes and parsley was an 8 out of 10. It could have been a little more mashed, but overall, it was good. And the broccoli, cheese, and rice, y'all, I didn't really like that. I give that probably like a 4, probably a 5 out of 10. I didn't really like that, but out of everything, I definitely love the steak. Like, the steak was well done, exactly how I wanted it. And I was really surprised myself because I really didn't think that I could do that. But I definitely did. So stay tuned for my next cooking video. I definitely will be trying to get at least one of these out to y'all every week, as well as my weekly vlogs and my podcasts. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. It will be in the description box below. Y'all know the vibes. Until next time, I will see y'all in my next video. You wanna fuck with that? Tell me to pull up with that. He can't get enough of that. Damn. What? He wanna fuck with that?